If you sell software systems, you know your software demonstration can make or break your sale. Now many people use a script during their software demo, and that might be a good way to learn your system, but it's really no way to conduct important demonstrations. In this video, I'll share a strategy that helps you build and adjust your software demonstration to meet any situation. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Bob Bundy, president of Roque Services Group, and I've conducted and watched hundreds of different software demos. In this video series, I give you concrete tips and strategies you can use right away to improve your demos and hopefully close more sales. I just finished watching a two-hour web-based software demonstration that had one major problem. The demo specialist was either reading from a script throughout the entire demo or he only knew one path through his software system. It's kind of tough to tell on the web demo which approach he was using, but it really caused him a lot of problems with his audience and it probably cost his company the sale. Why did it cause problems? Well, there are a few reasons. First, if you need a script to get through your software, it becomes a crutch for you and your audience can tell. If you've been doing demos of the same system for two years and you're still following a script, you really don't know your system and that will negatively impact the quality of your demonstration. It also means you're concentrating more on what you'll be saying than you are listening to your audience. And if you can't listen to your audience, your demonstration will be generic, forgettable, and it's gonna miss the mark. Your presentation needs to be responsive to what the audience is communicating to you. And last, a script is a rigid approach to the demo. What if something changes right before the demo or during the demo? If you only know one way through your software or you rely on a script to get you through the software demo, you're in big trouble. So here are a couple of real life examples that I've experienced that helps highlight this issue. So I'm attending a software demo given by a presenter I've seen before. Unfortunately, I realize she only knows one way through the software, and that's basically to follow the menu. So she opens up the first menu option, takes a couple of minutes to talk about it, closes it, opens up the next menu option, talks about it, closes it, etc. All the way through her system, because the menu is her crutch. Now, this standard path doesn't make sense for most of her demos. Unfortunately, as she walks into this demonstration, she finds out they've cut the presentation time from 90 minutes down to 30 minutes. Now, she has over five years of experience, and you'd think she has enough experience to handle a situation like this. But her coping strategy is to do her full normal demo using the menu and talk really, really fast. And not surprisingly, the result is a disaster and a lost sale. So I'm watching a demo of a medical software system. Now, right in the middle, the agency's security officer asks a question. Hey, can you describe the main security features of your software? Now, in a medical system, there's security everywhere. Things like patient record confidentiality, digital signatures, HIPAA security provisions, and encryption. And the demo specialist does plan to hit on these things during his demo. Unfortunately, these items are scripted for him. And when the question comes up in the middle of the demo, the demo specialist answers one that he kind of remembers, and then he freezes up. He can't respond to anything that deviates from his script. And you know what? It's another lost sale. My last example. A few years ago, I had a meeting with a prospective client. Their management team was holding an off-site planning session. I had one hour with them, four people. When I arrived, the executive director meets me outside and says, hey, Bob, we changed things a bit. We invited our staff to attend the demo. So I walk into the room and instead of four people who want to see managerial functionality, there are 300 people who want to see end user functionality. They put me up on a stage with a wireless microphone and a very engaged audience. If I were just following a standard script or I had no way to adjust my presentation, it could have been a disaster. But it went great and the audience was involved the entire time. Now, how was I able to adjust my demo so quickly? Well, I build my demos with a combination strategy I call the building block matrix, and it has two parts. Now, a quick caution for you. This strategy requires that you really know your solution. Inside and out, you cannot be reading a script to tell you what to say or which button to push next. 
You need to be rock solid on your system's functionality. Part one of this strategy is to organize all your functionality into small, bite-sized blocks. Instead of a single path through your software system, compartmentalize your system's functionality into a series of standalone blocks. Now inside of each block, you need to know your functionality path, your talking points, and the real life scenarios that allow you to connect with your audience. Now one of these blocks might be three minutes long or 10 minutes long. Just depends on the functionality that you're highlighting. How many building blocks you have depends on your solution. Maybe a complete demo of your software system requires 50 different blocks. That's 50 components that you need to know like the back of your hand. Before the demo, organize the blocks in a logical order based on your prep work. It's reasonable to think you probably are not going to include all 50 blocks in every single demo. The benefits of this building block approach include making it easy to organize the demonstration based on the information you're given up front, like who will be in your audience and what functionality is the most important. Uh, it makes it easy to adjust your presentation on the fly. Maybe the CFO lets you know she has to leave 30 minutes into your demo. So it makes it easy to move your blocks around to accommodate her attendance, especially if she's the main decision maker. And it makes it much easier to decide what to eliminate if you do have to reduce your demo time. You know, the second part of this strategy is adding a matrix over all the blocks. You know, there are probably some common traits or features that permeate your software. Things like ease of use, security, a help system, or the user interface. These are features you may touch on throughout your demonstration, but they probably don't get their own separate block. But what if somebody raises one of these as a must-have right in the middle of your demo? Hey Bob, can you explain ways your software system is easy to use? Well, you need to know which blocks can address that question. You know, also there are probably certain blocks that pertain to different audiences. What if you walk in expecting to present a full system demo and you find out your audience is made up of just the payroll department? You need to be able to adjust on the fly and just hit the functionality that means something to them. By constructing a matrix like this, you can easily structure your demo or adjust it as you're going. A great software demonstration becomes a great conversation between the audience and the presenter, just like any sales presentation. But the presenter needs to know their system inside and out. You cannot be searching for words because then you're not interacting with your audience. Structuring your functionality into building blocks and overlaying that with a matrix is a great way to plan your demo up front. It's also a great way to adjust it on the fly. Now after years of giving software demos, you'll probably be doing all of this in your head. But even with years of experience, it's a great idea to keep refining and updating your building blocks and updating your matrix as your software functionality expands and changes. Did you like this video? If so, please be sure to like it below and subscribe to my channel to watch all of my sales related videos. If you want us to let you know when we publish new sales content on any platform, head over to our website and tell us your email address. We only use it to let you know when new content is available. Well, it makes it easy to move your blocks around. To <laughs> Very frustrating. <laughs>